everyone, it's me, X Canadensis, and today I'm so excited because I have the full set of the Tropical Rouge Pretty Cure dolls to open for you today. I got all of them, including La Mer. That's the reason that I didn't get them sooner is because I was waiting for La Mer to come out so I could order them all at once. Um, they don't stand, like for some reason the boxes are slightly warped on the bottom, so they just really don't stand on their own, so sorry about that. Anyway, I'm gonna jumble them up and pick at random which one I'm gonna open first. Um, I am currently fully, I'm gonna open this one first. Oh, it's summer! Okay, so I'm fully caught up on Tropical Rouge right now, and I love it so much. I just got into Pretty Cure, I started with Star Twinkle. And I finished that and it's like one of my top favorite anime of all time and I'm not taking that lightly. It's up there with Paula Magi Madoka Magica and honestly like Eva's up there too. Well obviously Eva's up there too. So I'm saying like Star Twinkle was that good. So I'm really excited to be getting into more of the franchise. Um, I have an opening video where I open these and a bunch of other like Pretty Cure merch that I got a hold of um, from the same lot. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to open her without ruining her box. I kind of am thinking about going full deranged and buying a full set of these in box as well just to just to keep them. I got an amazing deal on these secondhand from Japan. I mean, it was on a secondhand site but they're brand new sealed, but I paid 60 for um these four, like the original four, and then I paid 20 for La Mer cuz I got her like I think it was kind of like a pre-order cuz I ordered her the day before she came out. Um, but she shipped immediately, so I don't really know. Anyway, oh my god. So this is actually my first time opening one brand new. Um, I got the Star Twinkle set used, missing a bunch of stuff. Um, but anyway, her box is super cute. It has a picture of Cure Summer, a bunch of info, um, I assume... I actually don't know what that says. But this says, uh, like, Tropical Rouge Pretty Cure, I assume. Um, and then the back is adorable. It has the doll, and then the art of the doll, just to... Sorry, the art of the character. I think just to flex, like, look how accurate we managed to make her look. They did such a good job. And then it shows you some, like, details and, like, you can pose the doll. There's this weird thing about how you can remove the leg. Or I guess it's saying, like, if the leg pops off, put it back on. I really don't know what that's about. You got, like, all kinds of legal information. Toei. Cute. Um, and again, I'm gonna be keeping these boxes just for now. Um, because I just... I've never ordered brand new unbox dolls from Japan before, so it's kind of cool. And here's Summer, so let's get her out of here. Oh my gosh. I love these dolls so much. It's such a shame. Like, right now I'm watching... Oh, there's some kind of little... What is that? <laughs> Maybe like a coupon or something? Anyway, I'm watching Mahusukai right now, and I'm so bummed that there's not dolls. Um, I'm just gonna call it witchy so I don't butcher the pronunciation, because I know I can pronounce some English words. <laughs> but, um, oh my god, her hair is mind-bogglingly soft. I honestly think it's saran, but if it is saran, where did they get access to these colors? If it's nylon, I am not used to this grade of nylon. I don't, I don't know what sorcery this is. Um, anyway, let me get her little lipstick, little transformation stick out. I forgot what they call it. Haven't watched the show in the week, in a week, and all my knowledge went... Anyway, <laughs> the little stick that they use. And um, my Star Twinkle dolls actually didn't come with theirs because I got them used, so um, it's really cool to have the little extra accessory for these. Oh my god, so here is Cure Summer. I love this character, and I love her, like, personality, and her design is so good. Honestly, I I'm sitting in front of my Winx Club dolls right now. She reminds me so much of a Believix like design. So I'm kind of tempted. Let me know if you'd want to see it or if I should just do it on my own time just to get it out of my system. Could, should I like make her Winx wings? Like make her into a Winx fairy? I think that'd be fun. Honestly, all of them kind of give me a Believix vibe because I think they're going for the same thing. They're amazing. I think these dolls are so well done. So well done. Especially for like mass market playline. I think they're absolutely incredible. I love all the different plastic details for where they couldn't, um, like, they weren't going to make a giant flower out of fabric that looked good. So, um, it seems like the doll makers at Bondi of Japan, Bondi America dolls, I need to talk. I need to talk to Bondi about those because, oh my god, what are they thinking? Anyway, um, Bondi Japan's, like, design team really knows what they're doing. Uh, when I first saw the Tropical Rouge designs, I was really worried about how they would execute the hair. Um, and they did a phenomenal job on everybody. 
uh, as you can see all those different colored streaks and it's so soft I can't believe it I have at least a thousand dolls in my collection of all different sorts and from all different countries and this is the like best quality softest hair right out of the box that I have ever felt on a doll um these star twinkle dolls also have this exact same hair it's I don't I just want to know what material it is it feels like it must be nylon but I don't know anyway absolutely adorable little skirt and uh, it's got its little poofy layer underneath and they even did I don't think most toy companies would do this but they did this like tool piece that's only on the back and then the shoes I love the mold of these shoes I want these in every color they're amazing and she even has like little gloves they're so cute so cute and of course the little compact they always have to have their little compact and again just look at the face and I love the way they all have the different um cosmetic actually represented on them I can't wait to see if La Mer actually has the um nails done or not but um she has her little lips and the, the faces are just so stinking cute on these even in the show she doesn't always actually have the lips done like it'll show it in the transformation and then like or it'll show her putting it on and then the next second it's gone but I understand why it's because they have that certain art style and it looks a little funky sometimes when you do the lipstick totally not faulting them but I always think it's kind of funny when I see it um anyway we're gonna jumble them up again <laughs> oh god Okay, and this one. Okay, it is Cure, Cure Coral. I love Sango. Okay, let me set them aside. <laughs> oh my god, okay. So here she is in her box. I can't wait to get her out because her hat is like not actually on her head. It's just sitting there. So it looks really goofy right now, but I can't wait to like actually fluff it and make it look how it's supposed to. Um... And here she is, super cute. I'm glad the bangs are like secured with the little pl plastic piece because those aren't going anywhere. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a plastic band holding them in place. And then the back of the box is the same as Summer's, except a lot of companies will like be lazy here and just put like whatever the main doll is for all of the diagrams, but they actually like re-photographed all of the diagrams just for this doll, which I appreciate. It's just really fun. These packages are so colorful and fun. I'm just confused how they're supposed to sit on the shelves because <laughs> and it's not like I'm just like maybe maybe Japan is like it has a different gravity. I'm kidding. I'm I'm kidding, but um it's very weird. I, like how do they sell these or are they like only online now? I don't know. Um but they have to be like sitting on toy store shelves, but they can't stand on their own and they don't have little hangy hangy things attached to the box, so like I don't know. Anyway, they're a little bit difficult to open with my big adult fingers. Okay. Let's get her out of here. I love how I'm accidentally opening them in the order that they got there, um, <laughs> that they became pretty curious. Okay. My one thing, before I knew that um, Laura was, spoiler, that Laura was gonna become a pretty cure. It's not really a spoiler, it's pretty obvious. I'm shocked I didn't catch on sooner. Um, I was so bummed when I saw the four dolls because I was like, why not just make a Mermaid Laura doll? It would be so cute, so cute. As soon as I started watching the show, because I hadn't started watching the show yet at that point, as soon as I started watching the show, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, she's gonna be the pretty kid. But before that, I was like, dang, why don't they make a Mermaid Laura doll? But like, wouldn't that be amazing? It's so, it's such a bummer that they don't either make like casual outfit fashion packs or just release the, um, like dolls in the casual outfits it's such a shame okay so her hat is actually um instead of being like a hat or being tied to her head it has like a headband attached to it I don't hate that but they didn't make the hat big enough to like sit properly uh it does look super cute though I'm not mad at it it's just like you see what I mean it can't look like an actual sailor hat Oh my god her hair is so soft I can't believe how soft it is and there's no styling product in this hair at all which is shocking I'm just so used to American dolls so it's really interesting to see what like I assume these are close to the standard I need to get some Lika Chan dolls to see what the the standard actually is but like these are such impressive highly detailed high quality dolls it absolutely blows me away I love her little bows in her hair and this one these little yellow ones are actually on little plastic um brackets that you stick on um and she's got her little blush <laughs> she's so cute I love 
the um, the art style from Tropical Rouge, and I think the dolls captured it really well. The coolest thing to me about the dolls is that they actually, like, each series has its own art style, and the dolls reflect the art style uh, really well. So I was thinking, like, ooh, I could make customs from the shows that don't have, um, that don't have dolls, but I would have to fully repaint them. I was... I was kind of like, oh, I could just, like, color the eyes. Like, that would be easy just to change the eye color. But, mm, mm They got different art styles and <laughs> all kinds of stuff. Oh, it would be a pain. Um, anyway, these um, pink bows also have the plastic brackets. I'm seeing it now. This one's just kind of misplaced slightly. I need to move it. Um, and then this one's actually wrapped around the rubber band where it should be super nice. I'm, I'm like, curious to see because there's this thing with rubber bands for some reason that I'm used to, where they just dry rot and come off the dolls, sometimes within a week of doing the hairstyle. It's very bizarre. I want to see if that's the case with these rubber bands. It's it's a complete mystery. Nobody knows what's going on. At least I don't think anybody knows. Um, she also has her little transformation stick. I am so embarrassed that I don't know what it is. Go ahead and make fun of me in the comments about it. I'm sorry. Um, but here's hers. I gave Summer hers. Yeah, okay, she has it. Look how cute! I love that even this tiny accessory has like painted detail on it and how perfectly it fits in her hand. I actually find these dolls so funny, their proportions. Everything's pretty good and then the hands are just so small. It's very interesting, especially when you compare it to the giant head. Um, usually doll lines will have like normal human sized hands, which will look a little funny with the giant head. But this one was like, you know what, we're gonna do a giant head and make the hands way smaller than human hands. And I respect the decision. Anyway, <laughs> I like her little gloves and they have lace on them and they're made out of like a stretchy knit material. They're not hemmed on the, the ends closest to the wrist, but they don't really need to be. Um, and she's, the construction on this outfit is super impressive. I'm just, the Pretty Cure transformation outfits tend to be really um, intricate and I'm always really surprised to see how the dolls pull it off. And they always pull it off super gracefully and well. And she's got her little compact, which again, look at all the painted detail on there. I've just, I've been so accustomed to mediocrity. I've been like, <laughs> I've been shaped by it. So it's really, really stunning to see this. They do have like printed on dresses, but I don't mind it at all, to be honest. I think if you get at this scale, the like, the one six scale here, if you do too much detail, it'll get really, really bulky. I do think some things like the lacing would be, would have been like cool to see, but these are like super cheap playline dolls in Japan anyway. For some reason, dolls in Japan, like their playline are kind of expensive. Like they're, um, but it's cause they're higher quality, I bet. And it seems like they're less popular there. I don't know, hopefully someone from Japan can enlighten me. Like do kids just not like dolls? Like I know adults like dolls there, but are they just like, are kids just not super into them? Cause it's kind of weird how little variety there is in modern Japanese dolls today. Anyway, oh my God, the socks have these little scallop. Oh, are these a separate piece? They're a separate piece, that's so cool. Um, these little scalloped um, organza and the socks. It's interesting though, cause her socks are mesh here, but in the, um, and the actual art from the show, they're very stark white. Um, so that's kind of a weird choice, but I love the little scrunchies. Those look so good. Um, I'm shocked they included the little scrunchies. And the little hat. Oh, I just noticed that the hat even has a little plastic detail on it. So cool. Here's Cure, Cor Cure Coral. She's fantastic. She's super colorful. I think the yellow and the pink bows really bring it all together because they make her like really stand out. I think she's gorgeous. Anyway, let me set her down and then I'm not going to look at my pile because um, we're getting down to the low so I could totally just cheat. But anyway, how about I cheat? Who cares? Um, I'm going to open whoever this is. <gasps> yes! Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Papaya and Flamingo. But the Mermaid Queen is here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited to open her. I was so shook by the episode where she transforms, by the way. Because I, I unfortunately had it spoiled for me that she was going to turn into a mermaid. But, like... I mean, sorry, that she was going to turn into a pretty cure and, like, have human legs and stuff. But, like, that episode was so good. Um, so good. <laughs> and, um, the Little Mermaid parallels only got slightly obnoxious after the 17th time they were mentioned, so... It was okay. I get it. I think probably in Japan, the Little Mermaid isn't as, like... <laughs> pervasive in their culture. Anyway, um, I forgot to point out um, that her box is different. The original set of four, 
have the style box and then they um La Mer has this blue it's it's the same box it just has a different color scheme because she's the special one um and then I forgot to say that the tops of the boxes are decorated to show their little transformation items or whatever and then um the back of the box it's the same but it just has like different colors in La Mer instead of these girls anyway I'm so excited okay let me get her out of her box. I really appreciate how easy these are to open, by the way. Um, I, it's very refreshing and a lot less wasteful to just have, like, a couple pieces of plastic. They even have cloth ties holding their hair and, like, legs and stuff in place instead of, like, a bunch of bulky plastic ties and tape and stuff. It's more sustainable. It's easier. It honestly looks better in the box. I appreciate it. And the the way they don't have hair gel is baffling to me. Oh my god, her hair. Look at those curls. I'm, I'm telling you, there's no styling product in it. Like, it's completely soft and, like, perfect. Oh my god. These have a light amount of gel. The ringlets in the front don't and the bangs don't, but these do. It's fine. <laughs> these have to have gel. Oh my god. When I saw these in the design, I was a little nervous, but they pulled it off super, super well. I love the big pearls they put in the middle. They, they did a fantastic job. She has this little crown, which is like a little piece that they've pushed into her forehead. So you can't really like customize this doll unless you're going to leave the crown on. Um, and she has her little like eyelash pearls and oh, her nails aren't done. I'm going to have to do her nails. Don't worry. I was wondering if they always have had this joint here because I did not notice that before. Hold on, sorry, I saw it earlier and I was curious. Oh, they do, okay. Um, I guess that's probably not new. That's really nice, actually, because I never noticed it before. And I forgot to say, um, somebody told me this in the comments of the Star Twinkle video, they're actually um, articulated via a wire in their arms and then they have click jointed knees. And they have really good click joints, actually. A lot of click joints suck and like, um, don't have a good range of motion, but this is a pretty good range of motion for click joints. Um, I do prefer other types of joints, but I would think click joints, click joints are more expensive to like produce, wouldn't they be? It's very weird. I don't know. Anyway, tangent. She looks great. She looks just like the character. I think she, um, turned out the best out of all of them. Like I think she, she and Papaya anyway, like look exactly like the animation. They look so good. I think La Mer also like her outfit. Um, I'm biased. I love poofy sleeves and she's a mermaid, but I love her poofy sleeves so much. They're so good. And they even have like this little, mm, so good. And she has the little collar and her top with the scalloped edges. They're not finished on the bottom and neither are the little scallops here, but um, I believe they've used that like iron-on compound um, that makes things not fray. I don't know for sure. Um, some of my Star Twinkle ones are starting to fray in some of the parts of their design, so that's something to look out for. Um, and she has scalloped tops here that are also not hemmed. She has her little compact right here. I love the sleeves so much. Oh my god. Um, the tool underneath her skirt. And then see, they should have used this material for the socks on Coral. It's very weird. Um, oh, Laura. <laughs> Um, but she's got these little leggings. I love this piece. I think it's a really clever way to, like, bring in the mermaidness to her design. Um, she's still- it's so weird because nothing on this outfit except, I guess, like, scalloped edges really screams marine. Like, this is a, like, a nautical design. But, like, it's subtle and it's such a good character design that you pick up on it. Like, if I were to show this to somebody who knew nothing, they'd be like, she's she's kind of mermaid themed, right? And like, I know there's a few things on the outfit, like the pearls and the, this, this like whale tail here. Um, but, oh, it even has a giant bow. I love that even the back of the dolls end up being super um, detailed. Also, she's the colors of the trans flag, which is really, really cute and awesome. Um, obviously not intentional. <laughs> and then her shoes. I wish her little nails were painted. I'm gonna have to do it because it's like a part of her transformation. But she, um, I get why they didn't. It's kind of a lot to do that. Um, her hair. I just can't get over how soft their hair. Like, all of them have such nice hair. Anyway. Oh, and her little item, of course, is different from the others. Um, 
I wish one of them had come with the aqua pot. Um, and this is her little wand. Hers is different, of course. I'm not even gonna guess the name. I have it. I have it. I think I have it, but I don't want to say it wrong, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> All right. And then there were two. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna like. <laughs> I don't know how to make. Okay, I really don't know who's who now, so. Um, we're gonna go with left hand. Papaya, so we're leaving this one for last. This is the one I'm the most curious about because it, she's my favorite design. Anyway, um, okay, this works out. Let's see Papaya, poor Papaya. I get that she's like a fruit themed, which is very tropical and fits, fits very well. But Papaya? That's like cure custard, oh my God, you poor thing. Imagine like your friends are a cure flamingo and cure coral in summer and La Mer, which is really just her last name, but whatever. Um, and then you get stuck with papaya. I, but in one of the transformations, it kind of implied that they name each other. I don't really know though. Um, but anyway, her, her design is really, really good. Um, it's just a shame because most of them have very like colorful designs, like multiple colors as you can see, but Coral and Papaya got very like monochrome designs, which isn't a bad thing, but in the group of these like really cool, like um, colorful ones, it makes them uh, kind of fade into the background. And you know, <laughs> it's not the best for them. Anyway, let's see this doll. Okay, so she has some gel in her hair. I'm just fully impressed because like a lot of American dolls, especially modern ones, I am looking at Rainbow High um, have like so much gel in their hair even when it's completely unnecessary. So to see it only sparingly used where it was absolutely necessary is super interesting. It's not even used here. That's so stinking cute. I love this character by the way. Can we not just have a pretty girl that like wears glasses in her transformation? It, it would be great, please. Please. It is so weird that the shows always are like, we're gonna have a glasses character, we're gonna do it, Hanayo. And then they, they just never wear their glasses, Hanamaru. <laughs> um, anyway, just a little pet peeve. I love her little mascara. So cute. Again, I think her and La Mer really turned out great. I think they look exactly like the characters. I mean, they all look really, really close, but like these two specifically, their faces are spot on. I just adore them. Look how cute. She even has the back of the little sailor uniform. I made one of these once and it's surprisingly easy. Like you just cut out like a big square thing and just go from there. Um, anyway, that was completely random. I like the big sleeves and the little like pink flower petals go all the way around even though they really didn't have to. And this, um, it's like a bubble skirt with this ribbon that's holding it bubbled. And um, it's a really nice like custom printed ribbon, gross grain, and it's got the little bows on the sides. She's got her own little glove racer things just like all the others do and her little compact of course and the little bow at the front of the saifuku and I love this piece too it's just there's nothing particularly like there's fruit except I guess the color scheme and maybe these it's very interesting again I'm sorry I'm just making fun of her for being named papaya <laughs> just imagine she's your favorite and you just have to be like my favorite's papaya I don't know Maybe in Japan that, that was like a really interesting name. Maybe they don't call that fruit a papaya. I don't know, they probably do. It is a fun word, I guess. But like, I think being cure watermelon or cure pineapple, pineapple would have fit actually, um, would have been like less awkward. I don't know. Cause like, maybe this is just me. Like maybe papayas are super um, recognizable and like <laughs> cute elsewhere, but like, <laughs> I don't even know what a papaya is, to be honest with you. I didn't even know it was like a sweet tropical fruit. I know of it, and I know what they look like, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, she has these darling little, like, booty shoes with, um... <laughs> I'm sorry for the papaya slander in this video. <laughs> um, I love the big, um, leg warmers, by the way. Those are awesome. They remind me so much of the Smoby Wink dolls. They're even made out of the same material. Um, and the shoes are so stinking cute. Um, anyways, that is Miss Papaya. And then she also has her little stick. They all like, are the sticks all the same or no? 
Oh shoot, they're different. They have their little cure color in the heart, but that's it, they're the same other than that. Oh, but that's cool though. That means if you lose one, mm -mm, you're screwed. <laughs> you gotta buy a whole nother doll. All right, here is, see that would be a great thing for like gashes to have around the time the dolls come out is like I would stock up on extra sticks so I didn't lose them. Anyway, <laughs> it's papayas and it has yellow. So like Summers has white because that's her like cure color and papayas has purple of course. And La Mer, well hers have, I don't know what her color is. Is it blue or pink? She has blue and pink on her little thing. Anyway, there's Miss Papaya. I'm really, really impressed by the hair. Like, this piece is super cool. The, like, mullet? Um, and there's no gel, by the way. It's just being held in really well because, like, they packaged it correctly. They rooted it correctly. Almost no company knows how to root bangs, so I'm really impressed that they do. Um, I, again, Winx Club. Not Jack specific specifically, but, like, Winx dolls have no idea how to root bangs half the time and it drives me bonkers because Stella usually has bangs and they they like never stay where they're supposed to because they're not rooted correctly. I, I'm, just, I'm just saying these dolls are <laughs> spectacular. Anyway I don't really have to do any jumbling because Flamingo is last and she is um, probably the best for last. I can't decide who my favorite character is. We're not far enough along yet, I don't think. And Flamingo hasn't got enough screen time, but her design is so, like, vastly superior to everyone else's that it's not fair. And it's difficult for me because <sighs> Laura's a mermaid. And I love mermaids. So do I truly like La Mer the best? Like, is her design my favorite? Is her character my favorite? Or is it just because she's a mermaid? And I really have to like sit with myself, you know? Because it is important which pretty cure character is your favorite one, right? <laughs> anyway, let me get her little thing off. Um, I showed them all to Brett before he left because he was here on his work break earlier. And I was like, which one's the best one? And he picked her, La Mer, obviously. But he said this one, if you took off that plastic thing that she had on in the box and made her hair poofy like it's supposed to be. And I was like, you know, good taste. Um, her eyes aren't exactly like they are in the show. Um, and her, I mean, I'm just being picky because her, like her eyes, like her face design is my favorite in the show. I think it's so cute. She also has her little Saifuku. I, for, I really just didn't point out that these two are also sailor uniforms, but anyway, she has hers. They're all just very different. I love this piece, like these pieces in her design and I'm super impressed that they pulled them off. Flamingo got this, like whoever designed her really, really liked her or just really had fun with it. Um, <laughs> and it translated to doll form surprisingly well. When I saw that design, cause I don't like to look at the dolls too closely before I get them. I look and I'm like, yep, I like them. And I press buy. I don't like sit and scrutinize all the pictures because I want to be surprised and excited when I get the dolls. Um, and when I saw like that crazy pose she does when she's, you know, this, Anyway, <laughs> when she does that pose, I, I just, it's, it's my phone wallpaper actually. I just sit and stare at it and I'm like, how are you going to translate this to doll form? I can't fathom it and they really did a good job. Um, her outfit honestly has the least amount of like printed on details. The only ones are the ribbon stripes on the collar of this and then the ribbon stripes here and here. That's it. So her outfit in my opinion like looks the best hers and um... I mean in doll form. I think hers in uh, Summers? Oh, I don't know. Because I think La Mer's was a little bit too lazy with those. Like, they could have done at least one of those as an actual layer and it would have looked so much better. But, um, I just dropped one of the transformation sticks. Um, <laughs> but, um, hers is done very gracefully as well where it's only like the borders of the fabric as opposed to the actual design. Like this one too, I believe this is supposed to be some sort of like pleating and um, having it as a printed on design is a little bit lazy and it doesn't look as good. I still don't mind it at all because these outfits are extremely intricate. I get it. I would be printing stuff on too if I had to, if I had to make them especially mass produced. Tangent aside, I love the little undershirt too. Um, and she's got this big, this is already fraying. Um, they did not fray stop this. So I'll have to fray stop it. Um, that's not good. <laughs> so that really stinks too because her, again, her outfit is just the least amount of like shortcuts taken and I really appreciate it. She's got her little compact right here, her little glovies and her big old shoes. I really love the the chunky like shoe shapes they go with and I love the way they 
um, execute them in doll form. I think they look great. And she's got her little black fishnets. Her hair is ridiculously soft. I don't feel like I said it enough in this video, even though I probably said it like 14 times already, but this is the softest, nicest, like silkiest, shiniest, prettiest hair. I love it so much. And I, mm, the color blend they picked is so good. I love this red color. Like this, it's like reddish magenta-ish. It even has like almost like a, oh, I don't even know. It's so pretty. And she's got that big like flamingo feather here. And ah, she's just so pretty. I wanna um, kind of floof the hair out a little bit more like this part, just to make her look a little bit more like the design. Cause she's a little bit like, the design is super like spiky and fluffy and like, ah! Um, and the doll is a little bit more like sleeked and perfect. So I'm gonna have to like rough her up a little bit, I think, but she looks so good. Not that I'm biased or anything. <laughs> Anyways, um, oh, if y'all want whatever this is, here you go. I don't know what it is. If it's some kind of, like, it says member of Enquete Toy Bondi. I don't know what that is. Anyway, if it's a one-time little gift, enjoy it. Let me know what you bought. If it's that, it's probably, like, a video or something like the Winx ones have. It's the same as the others, but it's a red heart for her, like, image color. And then, um, her earrings are different than everybody else's. Like, everybody else kind of just had, I mean, I think so. Anyway, let me make sure. Yeah, everyone else just has little studs in. But her earrings are these, like, I know they're flamingo feathers, but they really look like daggers. And I appreciate that. Fits. It fits her character. I love this character. I just, she needs more screen time so bad. Um, yeah, so... I've, I have them all out of the box and I'm so happy. I adore these and I'm so, so grateful that I was able to add them to my collection. I can't wait to go shelf them. <sighs> There's not space though. Especially cause I'm planning to buy merch and stuff to match with them too. We'll see, we'll figure it out. Oh my gosh. And by a shocking turn of events, they stand really easily on their own, even though the table's a little bit shaky. Okay, papaya doesn't. Well, the superior flamingo does, so it's fine. Um, I think the best one in doll form, let me like really peek at all of them. Let me make sure all these wands don't fall. Okay. All these cosmetics. Okay. Um, I mean, it's just my two favorites from the show, so I can't tell if I'm biased or not, but I will say, <clears throat> I don't know. I think these are the best ones. Um, but Summer's super good too. Summer has all the colored streaks in her hair. See, it's really weird that three of them have like colored streaks and like multicolored theming. Like she has a bunch of green, including in her hair. She has all kinds of stuff going on because she's like a rainbow. She's got pink and blue prominently and then some yellow. And then <laughs> we've got purple, her shoe fell off. We've got purple with a couple of yellow things and like pink doesn't really count to me because it's going to be in every single design. And then we've got yellow and like some green, but it's more of like a yellow green most of the time you're seeing it. And then obviously pink, but again. Um, so, but that's not the dolls. That's just the, the, the designers who came up with like the pretty curious designs. Um, anyways, that's it. I'm going to be I have to do it. I am going to tear down one of those shelves on that wall because I have these like floor shelves that I can put down and then I can put, cause I just got a bunch of Pretty Cure merch in the mail. You'll see that video after this one at some point, probably next week. Cause I don't want to put too many Japan, like um, Japanese doll videos back to back. Cause I understand that not everybody's here for them. Um, and I have a ton of merch that came in and I'm planning to get more, so I'm gonna need more space for all that. And I don't want the dolls to be like separated from all the merch that goes with the same series. So um, anyway, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And let me know which one's your favorite. Even if you haven't watched the show, just which one are you like vibing with? Just like, let me know which color. I would be very interested to know. You know what this season really needed? Green. Green's my favorite color. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching for real this time. Bye.